Well, I know it doesn't look like it, and trust me, it definitely doesn't feel like it, but today is the official start of spring. And to celebrate that, we're gonna be spending the night in the old SUV camper build. Here we have a micro space heater. As you may know, space heaters use a ton of power, but this bad boy only uses 170 watts on its lower setting. Now the problem with that space heater is right in the box, it actually even says this heater is for heating you, not the room. So I'm hoping in this small space um, that it will at least keep me warmer than sleeping outside, but I guess we'll have to find out. Sorry, buddy, you're not coming today. You're not coming today. For those of you who are relatively new to the channel, last summer, Joel and I built out my SUV into a camper. We took this car 6,000 miles round trip to Newfoundland, which is the far east province of Canada. And here we have storage drawers where we keep all of our cooking stuff. You can see there's a stove pot, coffee stuff, spices, water. Here we have a table for food prep, eating and whatnot. And then underneath here, just some general storage. And then on the top, we have our mattress. This is my minus 10 sleeping bag. And then right there is my anchor power cooler, but more on that later. He wants to come with me so bad. Come on, let's go in. Come on, let's go. Good boy, go down. percent of my money goes. Look at that doggo. groceries out of the way we have one more we got one more house to see and uh, then we're going camping it's getting later in the day but that's the beauty of the first day of spring our days are getting longer already probably have until I bet you eight o'clock until the Sun starts to go down Soupy. This is home for the night. This is a spot. Actually, this is the first spot Joel and I ever camped in the car back in, uh, I guess it was last spring. Wow, is it ever beautiful out now. Hard to believe it's gonna get down below zero and snow again tonight. We are plugged in to AC power. I don't want to waste the battery power yet, but I am curious to see how much runtime we'll have with this thing on low.
Okay, so right now it seems to be drawing about 155 watts. Gives us just about nine hours of runtime. If you ask me, that's a full night's sleep. I think we have a pretty cool meal planned for tonight. A few days ago I was ice fishing and we caught a ton of these fish called burbot. Burbot are better known as poor man's lobster. Then we're gonna be poaching it and we're gonna be making poor man's lobster rolls with fresh burbot. Some spices, cutlery, a cutting board, uh, this fish scooping device. <laughs> Our buns, our fresh baked buns, and our stove. <laughs> Funny thing is, the last time we used this pot, we were actually making real lobster on the Atlantic Ocean in, uh, in PEI. We have to wait for this to boil hard. Then we're gonna add lemon and sugar to the mix. We're gonna add about a cup of sugar, half a lemon. All right, now for the main event, we have filleted burbot or four man lobster cut into little cubes and the idea is when when you put these in they will sink eventually they'll come back to the surface that's when they're done we'll chop up some celery and parsley Add our parsley. And I somehow lost my garlic clove, so we're just gonna resort to garlic powder. Some of the smaller guys. I'm gonna add my fish into the butter mix. And I really would have loved to toast these. I don't have a, I don't bring a pan. Just gonna have to butter them up. They're fresh, they're fresh buns, so they're gonna be good. A little lemon. Celery. I'm Super excited. This looks, uh, it looks great, but we'll see in a second. Wow. That is incredible. It's, it's so weird how the texture of the burbot, I can't tell the difference between that and lobster. It's incredible. Strongly recommend trying that out. I think that would work great with uh, even fish bought from the grocery store, like cod, um, haddock, anything, any any white fish really. That would, that should work. I give that a 
nine out of 10. It was uh, almost as good as the real thing, but this first day of spring right now is a solid 10 out of 10. Try to get into bed here. Oh. Okay, we officially got the microheater cranked on low. My power source is only saying it's drawing about 160. So it gives us about nine hours of, of heat. My thermometer is saying that it's zero degrees outside and 12 degrees in here. I don't know if it's actually 12 degrees in here or if that's just because um, this was in my pocket. I'm still not sure if this little space heater is actually going to keep the whole car warm or if it's just going to keep me warm by being right in front of it. But we will certainly find that out tonight. The cool feature I just realized because I knocked it over. It turns off. I was actually kind of worried about that. Hopefully this thing runs all night and I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning. We, uh, we slept in a little bit. Well, it's not warm in here, but it's certainly warmer than outside by a few degrees. Still doesn't feel like spring, but we're getting there. All right, let's get this stuff put away and uh, let's head on home. Thank you all so much for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed and we'll catch you in the next one.